Hello everyone, I'm Lakeisha Spletzer and I'd like to welcome you to this edition of Keisha's Talks. Hello everyone, I'm Lakeisha and I want to thank you for meeting up with me for Keisha's Talks. I know it's been a while, but I've been doing the writing thing. However, today is a special edition because I am talking about this book, The Tempo, book one in the Elemental Symphony series. And today is special for another reason. I'm going to have my first guest ever on the Keisha's Talk Show. So without much ado, I'm going to welcome to the show, the four L These are my guests on the show today, so I'm going to take a moment and introduce them, starting to my left. We have Marissa, who is the element of fire, Jasmine, the element of air, Tamara, the element of earth, and Malia, the element of water. So everyone, tell everyone at home, hello. Hello. Hi. Hi, people. So this is my first time, so for those that are watching that don't know anything about me, that means I don't have to talk the whole time. So <laughs> today I am talking about, like I mentioned in the beginning, the tempo. Hold it up so everybody at home can see it. It's the first book in the Elemental Symphony series. The cover was designed by J.D. Hollyfield, who does all my covers, but as usual, I have to give him a shout out. Thank you, J.D. So, we're going to tell you a little bit about the characters, and we'll tell you a little bit about the girls themselves who inspired my characters. So, we're going to talk to the girls, and then we'll talk about the characters. So, to start with, we're going to have you guys tell them your ages, so they kind of know how old you are. And then we will talk a little bit about yourself. No, in real life, because I'll get to the book, but yeah, in real life, we're going to have them tell you what their ages are. So you can kind of see what was going on in my head. So, Marissa? I'm 11. I'm 12. 12. 11. So, in case you're wondering, the characters' ages in the book, they're all 12. Um, originally, we were going to give everybody kind of different ages in the book, and then they all were like, no, we all want to be the same age. So I thought, mm, why not? So in the book, their characters are 12 years old. So, let's talk about a little bit about you guys. What do you like to do for fun? Let's go to Tamara. <laughs> for fun. For fun. For fun. Fun like, do you like to play sports? Do you like to talk on your cell phone? Do you like to do on Facebook? Or do you like to read? What is something you like to do for fun? And that, yeah, the rest of you guys think about that because the question is going to come into you next. So that's rare. What do you I like to do for fun? The sports I like to do, I like to toss football with my dad and then are we making that face? <laughs> <laughs> and as you can see, the elements do butt heads. But yeah, so we're going to ignore air. <laughs> Earth, you're okay. <laughs> I like to swim and um, dance. There you go. All right. And so text. Text and text. She's got it. Okay. It's fine. Now we're, now we're going to air. Air. I like to do three things. I like to dance, I like to cheerlead, and I like to swim. And text. And text. And text. And text. So that's four. 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 Yeah, it is. It is actually works. She's good. Because you've got the cheerleaders and then they're leading. Okay. So, yeah, it can actually work that way. So, we're going to actually go with fire, which is Marissa. So, what do you like to do for fun? I like to read, write, dance, and hang out with these people. I love you guys. Oh, yeah. If I was over there, I would be like, oh, I know. Uh huh. Get their book is number one 
for you ladies out there who like stuff such stories like um, Percy Jackson and the Olympians. Um, if you like magic, if you like, um, I'm trying to think of another good one. Even the Twilight fans and Harry Potter, um, if you like those types of books, you will like their book because these four ladies that you see sitting here around me have magic powers. They are in a magical land. So you have fire, you have air, you have earth, and you have water. They actually do manipulate their elements. You get to see them using their powers against bad guys and each other. Um, <laughs> and, you, and you have the two biggest fighters right here. Um, <laughs> I know, right? Best friends. Best friends in real life. So, But yeah, so in the book, you have four individual girls. They each come from different backgrounds. And we're going to take a moment now. We're going to have them talk to you as their characters. So, ladies, and we're going to start with, who have I not started with first? I think I have to start with Amelia and Jasmine. So, we're going to let Amelia start off, and then I'll flip to you the whole next question. Jasmine, I'm having brain freeze. Oh, she's having a brain freeze. Okay, Jasmine, you can go first. So, tell them about your character. Like how it Yeah, you can, you can tell how she, how she acts, what, she, what kind of family she's got. Um, you know, how you met your teacher, because each girl gets a teacher that finds them. So... We'll let Jasmine start first and take it away. Okay, I'm going to start with my teacher because this lady does not appeal to me very much. <laughs> okay, so me and my little brother, we're hanging out, and this lady approaches me. I kind of get a little scared, so I just like, kind of run to the house with my brother, and she, and she ends up coming to my house and following me. It's kind of weird. <laughs> they had to drag me out, kicking and screaming out of my house, literally. I didn't, I didn't want to leave at all. And, okay, in my family, I have eight brothers and sisters. Yeah, there's eight of you guys total. Mm -hmm. Eight brothers, okay, eight brothers <coughs> and sisters. And I'm adopted, but I don't know it yet. <coughs> that makes sense. And yeah, it does make sense, because she doesn't know. I don't know it yet, but my parents, my adopted parents knew that the day was coming that I'd have to leave and go do what I have to do, training. Yeah. Yeah, not so much. And I'm going to take a moment to talk about her teacher. Her teacher is one of those teachers that all of us have them. <laughs> At one time, you, you get a teacher that's just so mean to you that you just can't take it. And that's the kind of teacher poor Jasmine gets. Yeah. It's okay. I've had it before. <laughs> the thing is, I love those teachers. I love them. <laughs> that's because you're fiery. So, fire, tell them how you met your teacher. Oh, God. Um... I was actually doing an errand for my father when uh, she just came up behind me and like she said, like don't move. And I, I was like scared she was gonna kill me, so I kind of like, of course I was gonna try to run away, but she knocked me out <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I guess carried me back home. I don't, I don't know because I was just knocked out. <laughs> <laughs> and. When I woke up, like I heard voices, and I just came down to see my dad and um, the lady who was Mistress Milena fighting. And like she said, that had like magic powers. I was like, they didn't really believe her, but she said that that was why my father did not let me work in the forge anymore. He's a blacksmith. Uh, yeah, and I didn't. Basically, she just told me to go pack, so I didn't really know what to do. So I just went up to my room. The next day, my father handed me like a bag of supplies and just kind of left me. He didn't say bye. I wanted to leave. So yeah, it was sad. Uh, it was sad. He didn't have a good journey. Yeah. He didn't even say that. No, he didn't. Remember? Yeah, yeah, he did say that. It's okay. He actually, he actually just looked at her and she was mad at him, and he just handed her the bag and he walked away. <laughs> he did. He walked away and left her. We're sorry. We're sorry. At least it's not as bad as my case. Okay. Uh, since, since you're speaking up, water, go ahead and you tell them about yourself. <laughs> uh, you don't know. Okay. Go ahead. Anyway, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. okay, so basically what happened was that my father drowned basically when I was born. And then my mother, like when I was younger, she died from an illness or something. So I'm basically an orphan on the streets or whatever. And so what happens is that I steal from purses and like I take, I take a knife and slice out and then I take their money and stuff using my powers. And what happened was that 
one time uh, I was stealing from this lady's purse and all of a sudden I was knocked out and I'm like, what happened? And so next thing I know I'm in a jail cell and the woman's like, if you come with me, I'll let you out and stuff. And so I was like, okay, I wanna get out. Please take me with you. That's basically what happened. So that's how I ended up with my teacher. Yeah, she was. Yeah, she did get knocked out. She got put, got in, put in the water. She got put in the water bubble she was and chased basically and technically, then, technically drowned. Yeah, <laughs> she was chased and drowned and got thrown in jail. But yeah. I, I was the one who did get knocked out. I got like yeah, you got knocked knocked out. Yeah, and, well, she, she drowned. She, she drowned you, but it didn't really kill you because your water or something. <laughs> All right, let's get to Earth. How did you? Wait, can you drown and not die? Yeah, yeah. but it's really hard to do in it's real life. <laughs> Yeah, it, it, it can actually happen, but it, it doesn't happen very often. Usually, if you're in the water too long, it's your brain shuts down, so yeah. Um, my dad, like, he says that I'm too girly because I wanted to go somewhere with him that was manly stuff. And so my dad said that I couldn't go, and I really did. And this lady knocked on our door one day, and my dad told her to go away and, like, technically slammed the door on her face. So we were at dinner one night, and then I, he was like eating food like madly. So I asked him, what, like, why was he like so mad? And he said, no reason. And I said, excuse me, can I, can I like leave like in my bedroom? And so I closed the door and I opened. Like I was thinking, and then I just like opened the window because I had an urge to. And I like snuck out and I went into the woods and like I saw like my mistress up in like the tree and so I kind of like, got scared and then she told me to grow a hatch of grass so I tried to but it didn't work out and then she told me to act serious and stuff so I did and it actually worked. That about wraps it up for this time so what we want to say to you is that the four girls are going to be starting their own YouTube channel and it will be under the Elemental Symphony you also need to check out their website which is Elemental Symphony all together dot com check the bottom of the screen because there it is again um, so that you can get the latest updates news and other craziness that the four girls are into you also know when the upcoming books are when they'll be released and all that good stuff on their YouTube channel, they'll be answering questions from you. So if you have questions, readers, parents, and you want to know something about the characters, the girls, or even about me, we will be taking them and we will be responding to them. So you got a little bit that you can do with it. So once again, the website is elementalsymphony.com, down at the bottom there. The book is The Tempo. You can get it on the Kindle, you can get it on the Nook, you can buy it in stores. Just mention the title and that Lakeisha Spencer wrote it. You can also visit my website, keishasworld.com, for more information. And, you know, pretty much, I think that about does it. So, ladies, let's tell them bye. Bye! bye. Until next time, everyone, I'm Lakeisha Spencer, and you have been a guest on